felt good. It's running pretty lean. I think uh, Nathan Caney and I both are kind of worried about the bikes and uh, we need to figure out jetting in the morning I think. But um, for the most part it's okay. I had a couple crashes and it's hard because you go from big sand whoops to kind of a, uh, you know, the enduro test real rocky and, and hard pack. So just adjusting to that and the suspension's a little off. So now today was 
mediocre. It wasn't uh, my best day, but I'll keep uh, keep trying to get the bike better and keep riding and see how it goes. First test right off the bat, Ricky, uh, you know, he fell and the pipe came apart or something. I'm not sure if it was from crashing, but you know, it, it's it sucks and there's nothing you could do about it. It's just that's what six days is all about. There's always something going on that you you never really think about and. You know, we both don't really know the whole rules on re-impounding and stuff, and, and uh, I saw him on the trail and his clutch was out, and I told him to come back and at least fix the bike and try to re-impound or something, and uh, he ended up hour and out, and I guess, you know, that's it. It kind of uh, sucks, I and mean, there's nothing nothing he could have done any different. You know, obviously, uh, crashing was that's part of, part of racing. Day one, test one, was my six days of as of 2009. Had... Uh, I don't know, probably about the worst luck I've had in a long time. The, uh, it started off good. I felt great in the sand and, uh, you know, hitting almost all my lines and you know, it was feeling good. And then uh, I got kind of caught up in the shadows. I ended up crashing. No big deal. Got up and uh, pulled out right in front of Destry. So now we're both kind of motoing. And a couple corners later, it's probably about halfway through the test now, my pipe comes apart. And I'm like, oh, shoot, well, that sucks. And no big deal. Just keep going to the finish, you know? And uh, then about 10 corners after that, then my clutch went out. So I had no, no adjustment in the lever at all. And I'm like, all right, well, if we get to the finish of this thing. We got some work to do. And unfortunately, about 10 corners left in the test, I didn't make it. The bike just came to a stop, wasn't going. So I had to literally like yard my clutch cable completely apart, dismantle it, fire it up, just stab it in gear. Was able to finish the test. And uh, I made it to the end. We kind of gave my little clutch lever a little tune-up to try to you know, get some adjustment back in it. And uh, I said, I'm going to go for a check, too. If I make it, I make it. If I don't, I don't. And I never made it. And I had to get a tow back in from one of the sweep riders. It took me about a half hour to get back into the check. And came in, and uh, we put a new clutch in it, new pipe. And I had about 20 minutes to make it to check, too. It was way out there. And uh, I hopped back on the course where I got off and was going like a bat out of hell and I was about a half hour short. It was, it was literally impossible for me to make it at that point and uh, I don't know, I gave it all I had though. So my six days isn't over though, I'm still here for the team. I was out there pointing out lines for everyone so my plane doesn't leave till Monday, I'm here till the end and I'm going to give the team uh, the best support I can.